it is very unfortunate that every arm of the government, executive, legislature, and judiciary, and even the independent commissions, have been associated with corruption. This is a state god complaints about in Micah chapter 3 verse 11. It is our conviction that only we, as the people of Kenya, can stop corruption. Let us end the, key, the culture of celebrating the corrupt and start assuring them instead. Let us build a culture of supporting and electing persons who manifest integrity. But this, we encourage all of us as Kenyans to reject contributions by political leaders and their appointees, knowing that most of the money given is stolen taxes. We must stop celebrating whenever the president, members of parliament, governors, members of county assembly, and other political actors donate money whose source are not clear. As a church, we make it clear that all persons are free to attend worship services and give their offerings, but we will not allow the sacred religious practice to be used for self-promotion and self-marketing. We will continue propagating and applying the guidelines issued by the NCCK which require that politicians should not be allowed to address congregations while inside the church. Note that in the recent past, multiple laws have been presented in Parliament which, if enacted, will radically change the electoral framework and will effectively destroy our democracy. In addition to this, there are nine different agricultural related bills which will criminalize food production in our nation. We are convinced that the reason political leaders have not undertaken civic education on this laws, none of which are sponsored by Kenyans in any of our constituencies, is because they know that Kenyans will not support them. I encourage you to demand from your member parliament that these laws are withdrawn. Do not allow the parliament to enact laws that will make your, your very life illegitimate. To strongly reject the proposed vaccination of animals being driven by international bodies, make it clear to your member parliament and members of county assemblies that we do not want Kenya to be a surrogate of international bodies, especially make it clear that as Kenyans we have rejected genetically modified organisms, genomes. I appeal to you that we join hands in ending the rising cases of gender-based violence that is rising in our communities. Let us allow, let us all endeavor to find peaceful ways of resolving conflicts and uh, disagreements that include dialogue, mediation, and counseling. Father, we urge you to do what is within your power to end the discrimination against persons with disabilities. ...and shape the destiny of our nation. We cannot leave this role to the political leaders who have betrayed us and ask the people of the Kenya, of Kenya, we must unite knowing that the unity of the citizenry is what will make our nation better. Kenyans, we are in the sad situation where members of parliament have betrayed the electorate who voted for them into office. Instead of representing the people, they have become spanner boys and girls carrying out the work of the executive. Instead of oversighting the executive, they are cheerleaders in oppressing the people. We encourage you Kenyans as voters 
to collect signatures and commence the processes of recalling the members of parliament who are not performing as per your requirements and demands. And as electorates, you are the employer, not the employee, not the servant of the members of parliament and other elected leaders. The citizens of Kenya, not to give your elected leaders and their appointees peace until they heed to the demand for urgent recruitment of IBC commissioners as provided for in the Constitution of Kenya 2010. We urge you to raise your voices to demand that the judiciary concludes the cases touching on IEBC within the next two weeks. We must get back our democracy. The situation in our country is the direct result of our tendency as the people of Kenya to listen to and believe the narratives peddled by persons seeking to rise to and to hold unto political leadership. These narratives are often premised on lies and falsehood. We appeal to you, Kenyans, brothers and sisters, to seek the truth. Do not just believe what is said, but take a step to verify. Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, is the most crucial organ in the exercising of democracy in Kenya. For it is the body that is mandated by the law to facilitate elections and removal of leaders. Consistent refusal by the current political leaders to reconstitute the IEBC is a major insult to the people of Kenya and an attack on who we are as a nation. Citizens do not remain silent. Take every opportunity to have to demand that the implementation of Shia or Shif is suspended until all the necessary structures are put in place. Public funds. Father, we need to hold our members of parliament to account for hurriedly passing the bills in parliament which instituted shift while knowing very well and fully clearly well that it was going to cause suffering in the nation of Kenya. So we give credence to the people and our hope as the church is the people of Kenya. And that is why our pastoral letter today is addressed to the people of Kenya. Number two, our hope is in Article 1 of the Constitution. We have our Constitution that we gave to ourselves in 2010. And the first article talks about the sovereignty of the people. What we are asking Kenyans is to know that they are the sovereign. They are the kings. And the elected leaders are their servants. They are the, 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 the citizens of Kenya are the masters. And the elected leaders are their servants. That is the message we are sending to Kenya so that we can seize the moment and that is where our hope uh, uh, lies. This has been a tradition. We ask the pastors not to be intimidated. Just like the prophets of old, those who are guilty, they fear even their own shadow. We ask pastors wherever they are to speak boldly and to preach freely and to prophesy where God has placed a message on them without fear or favor. We are also calling on the officers of the government who are intimidating church leaders to cease and desist from intimidating or attempting to abduct or arrest the pastors. Pastors are agents of God 
and we must speak the truth like all the prophets of old no tolerance it is true that we have seen that after the impeachment of the former deputy president there has been a sense of intolerance 